Hi, I'm Sandy Wyckoff and I am chatting with Joy Jordan. She is the Community Engagement Coordinator for Monomoy Regional School District. So nice to chat with you today. Thank you for having me. This is my first time meeting you. That's exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's so many meetings we're having virtually these days and hopefully we can have them in person soon. I know, right? So what's going on in your world right now? What's happening? So it's been a very interesting few weeks on the school side of things, for sure. We are getting into a routine in a lot of different ways. Um, one of the first things that we wanted to address as a school district was making sure all the kids were fed because a lot of kids rely on the meals at school for their daily nutrition. And so we launched a grab and go meals program where and it didn't it doesn't even have to be monomoy students it can be any child birth to age 18 from any town in our community wow. um we have two different locations for the pickups of the meals one in chatham at the middle school and then one in harwich at the high school and families can pick up a breakfast and a lunch for every child every day for free on fridays you get three meals to cover the weekend so that's been a really important thing to have in place because those basic nutritional needs need to be taken care of before a lot of these families can think about anything else. So We're heard, excited to, oh, sorry, go ahead. Who's preparing those? How, how does that all happen? Our cafeteria staff. Oh, fabulous. We, yep. So it's been great to keep them busy and employed and working right along. So the cafeteria staff is preparing those and um, families pick them up from nine to 12 every weekday, then the extra meals on Friday for the weekend. And then starting on April 27th, we're going to launch a special delivery service because we've found that there are families that would love these meals and it would make a big impact on their life, but they just can't get there for a variety of reasons. Either they're working, they don't have transportation, they're, they have health concerns where they don't want to leave the home. So we are having folks sign up for that. So that will be a nice way to really ensure that everybody's getting those basic needs met. Um, we also have at Chatham Elementary a food pantry that is providing additional food items for an entire family as needed. And I know the Wayside generously donated a bunch of um, resources for that program to keep that going. So, you know, we, we really wanna make sure those basic needs are met before we kind of move to the next level. Um, so the, Sorry, all that's in place. Quick question, how many meals are you preparing in a day? Do you know? Um, it's in the hundreds. It varies a little depending on the day of the week, but um, hundreds are going out to families every day. So, and, it, and the numbers are increasing and we expect that to happen as, you know, people are out of work longer, all of those sorts of things. Um, so we really wanna commit to making sure that that, that program's in place. So basically, anybody that is in need can go to... Um, the Chatham location school. is at Monomoy Middle School. Okay. And the Harwich location? Is at Monomoy High School. Okay. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah, so it's, it's an important thing to make sure we have in place, so... Well, one less thing that people have to worry about. There's yes. a lot to worry about right now. Yep. That's incredible. Um, tell me about the, the mask program. I thought that was fascinating. So we are lucky enough to have some 3D printers, both at our middle school and our high school. And one of the STEM teachers got permission to come into the building and use the 3D printers at the middle school in Chatham. And he's been making masks for medical professionals. They're not the, the cloth kind, it's the plastic face shield kind. Yeah. So through getting some of the materials needed donated, he has been working hard to print up a number of these face shields and it takes quite a bit of time for each one to get printed up but um, I think he's already dropped off 20 or 25 to Cape Cod Healthcare and kind of working daily on putting more of those in in play in between teaching his own classes remotely so and we have um, the 3d printers that were at the high school I believe have actually been moved to a couple of the teachers homes so they're working at the on them at home as well getting those printed up in between teaching their classes uh remotely so we never would have thought right yeah, it's a whole new world just one more quick question that i really wanted to ask when you talk about the students interacting at home and teaching going on online 
how how has that been? That had to have been just an enormous challenge to get that set up. Really, you know, I have to give all the credit to our superintendent and our administrative team who worked really hard in the planning. And then the teachers have all been so enthusiastic about learning these new skills. They had a, a few days of professional development before we launched the distance learning, and everybody's just been really excited to learn what they can to make this happen. So we are now starting our third week of distance learning. We've gone through two full weeks already. Wow. And it's, it's working out great. I mean, there are bumps along the way, of course, and everybody's learning new things and learning a new way of doing things. But one of the commitments that was made was that every student would have some video contact, just like this, with the teacher every day. So it's not just that things are being posted on a website and kids are doing work that way. There's a lot of interpersonal contact, which is the key right now. It's not about, you know, learning new math skills or or that sort of thing. It's really about maintaining that normalcy and that contact. And and it's I mean there's nothing sweeter than seeing a video conference of a bunch of first graders or kindergartners, you know, these little smiling faces. And um, obviously the older kids love being able to connect with their friends and teachers that way. So that's been a really important element of of ensuring the success of our distance learning program. Oh, that sounds fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lot of information. <laughs> that's, that's fabulous. So everybody is working really hard behind the scenes. No it, doubt. It's true. And, and just seeing everybody come together for whatever is best for the kids has been really heartwarming. And, and you know, we're all learning. This is new for everybody. So it's, it's, um, it takes a lot of patience and a lot of understanding that nothing's going to be done perfectly and, and we're not all going to get it right, but we're all doing it for the right reasons and, and we're working for the kids. So love it. Joy, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. Stay safe. You too. Bye-bye.